New information this morning about the fraternity at the center of a hazing investigation at Louisiana State University. All of this following the death of a Metro Atlanta teenager. 18 year old freshman Maxwell Groover was from Roswell. He died last week after leaving the Phi Delta Theta house on campus. A preliminary autopsy did not list a cause of death, but shows his blood alcohol level was highly elevated. He also had THC in his system. That's the chemical found in marijuana. All Greek activities have been suspended at LSU. Jennifer Leslie is digging deeper. Jen, this fraternity has a history of suspensions across the country, including here in our area. Yes, and we'll detail that in just a moment. Phi Delta Theta's national organization has an alcohol-free housing and anti-hazing policy. But according to NBC News, there have been dozens of chapters that have been disciplined for breaking those rules since 2000, including one here in Atlanta. Emory University's chapter was suspended for four years in 2013 because of hazing. The case allegedly involved a fight club, forced feeding, and alcohol. But Phi Delta is back on campus this fall, according to the Emory student newspaper. Hazing allegations have hit other chapters across the country, including the University of Central Florida, Middle Tennessee State University, and MIT, where an Animal House-style party made news just a few weeks ago. The CEO of the national organization says Phi Delta Theta's goal is to create a culture of responsibility. He is promising, quote, a deep dive to look at programs and policies to keep their members safe. Jen, thank you. And today, NBC is taking a closer look at hazing in America. The day-long series, it begins at 8 a.m. on the Today Show. Kate Snow will dig deeper into this issue. There will also be a town hall meeting. And later on, NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt will take a closer look at a hazing case that resulted in a lawsuit.